an inflatable life jacket or PFD as the Americans call them. Um, this product is one that you can wear around as a belt um, and you can, it's got a gas canister in it so you can pull it and it pops and then inflates and then you can put it on. Um, so straight away we've got to talk about two things. We've got to talk about a buoyancy aid and a life jacket. This is a life jacket, okay? A buoyancy aid is what those things you see when you go canoeing and stuff. You just have a foam around the front, foam around the front, around the back, nothing around the back of the neck. A buoyancy aid will not keep you alive if you knock yourself out and you fall in the water. If you've, a buoyancy aid is just purely there to keep you afloat, to aid it, to give you more flotation, okay? There's a big difference in a buoyancy aid and a life jacket. So a life jacket is designed that if something really happens to you, you knock yourself out, you're unconscious, you're able to basically sit in the water and even be, go to sleep and fall there, okay? Life jacket, not a buoyancy aid. A lot of places now around the world, around the whole of Europe, they are, it's mandatory that you take a flotation device on the water. Some say buoyancy aids, some say life jackets, but it's basically a flotation device. That's when you see people wearing and putting flotation devices on the front of their board, strapped on with their bungees. What's the point? If you're gonna have a flotation device and you've got to wear it, you might as well have it on you and use it. And that's where this sort of thing comes in perfectly. So you basically put it around your waist and that is it, done. Forget about it, go paddling. So from that idea, I think it's a fantastic idea. You haven't got to worry about it, it's not going to get in the way, you can even do a paddle race, you can get to downwind as doing this. Uh, imagine that, you want to be safety conscious, you can go do more exploration and have a lot more kit on you that isn't going to hinder you. So this product is imported um, into the UK by Blue Chip and it's available at the website. Um, and it's a Type 3 US Coast Guard approved. Um, so basically it's got to come out of America all singing, all dancing um, with all the right regulations and stuff. Um, as far as you look at it, it's a very neat, compact little product. It doesn't weigh very much. Um, all the, the instructions and everything that comes in the bag really nicely um, presented. It retails at $84.95. As far as paddling in the UK conditions are concerned, think about if you're going on holiday, places you need to have buoyancy on there on the water, um, this could be a great alternative to lugging around a buoyancy aid that basically you can make any smaller and it's that sort of size. A point to mention then, this isn't a life jacket that when you fall in the water it's going to inflate. It takes a manual inflation, okay? Um, but that's great for paddleboarding because half the time you're going to be mucking about falling in you don't want it to go up in your face because um, you want it when you need it not when you not when you don't need it the downside of that is obviously in a situation where um, you if if you did fall in and something happened to you and you knocked yourself out as you were falling in it wouldn't inflate um, so therefore it isn't going to save your life like a, a, a life jacket is especially the red ones you see down there with the automatic inflation tags so they just basically go off when they get wet um, so it's need to be manually inflated and you need to put it on okay so when you're paddling it when you're paddling with it you're going to paddle around the back they say to have it around the front but it gets in the way it's too it's too bulky um, around the back it's fine you can bend over you can move it doesn't really hinder you at all in any way uh, i wouldn't be I'd, I'd be quite happy to paddle long distance around the coast with that like this no worries at all but it's so light you don't even feel like you've got it anyway so when you go to inflate it you want it around the front like this and the other reason you want it around the front is because basically this webbing strap it gets used as a part to secure the life jacket onto you. So this is quite important, this is on tight when you want to actually use the life jacket for its proper job. Right, okay, I'm a little bit nervous, I do admit. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I don't think my head's gonna get blown off, I think it's gonna be fine. So all I do is pull down firmly on this yellow tag. And then you get a life jacket, like this. And all you do, you put this out, you pop that over your head. And then what you do, you take this strap here, and you pull down the bucket. Yeah, and that pulls on here, on the webbing strap. That screws it to your head like that. That's quite impressive actually. It's done exactly what it said. Came out 
And then you've got a manual inflation valve here, so you can also pump it up um, by mouth. And this is your canister, basically, that's just produced the air. And then you can just unscrew that and you can recycle it, and then you can get new canisters as well. Um, nice and tightly on, not going to come off. Wow, does that, doesn't it? So taking it off, undo that strap. God, it's a really tight fit around the neck, so you're not going to come out of there. And then to deflate it, all you have to do is you have to take the tag off, and there's a little green popper in there, and you push down and let the air out. To be honest, there's a lot of thought that's gone into this product. Um, it's quite nice, they've got all the fold lines here, so when you deflate the life jacket, you have fold lines, so you say fold one, fold two, fold three, fold four, fold five, and that basically means you fold the life jacket up and it goes back into the pack nice and neat, ready for basically the next time you need it. It's very clear and how they, um, how you read the canisters, and very simple. Um, I can't really fault the fact how simple it is and how clear it is, it's really, really idiot proof. Um, as I've proven today with me, not used it, I just pulled the tag and away it goes. So. After packing it down, it packs down really easily. Um, you haven't even got to put the canister on straight away. You can just open that up and put the canister through here. It's got like an inspection window here and there, so you can see if your canister's on and stuff, so that's really neat. Um, it's all aircraft friendly, so you can take it on the airliner's hand luggage. Subboard a verdict, fantastic product. That's a pretty good price point, to be honest. There's a lot of tech in there, and when you need it, it's gonna be there and it's gonna do the job.